Welcome to my review of the Apple iPad. In my opinion, this is a great device, works excellent, and you really should just buy it if you have the chance. I have no problem filling up my 32 gigabyte version. If I put a lot more movies on, I could fill it up, but 32 works for me. For you, it might be 16 or it might be 64, depending on how much music you have. But it just, it's a great device. Hello, here's the YouTube application on the iPad. It's much different from the YouTube application on the iPhone. It plays 720p HD video. And here is the, at the bottom, you have featured, top rated, most viewed, favorites, subscriptions, my videos, and history. Featured gives you all the featured videos. Top rated gives you the top rate for today, this week, and all time. So the top rated videos. You can just scroll through. Most viewed gives you most viewed for today, this week, and all. Up here on most of the video, on most of the things below, up here is a search thing. You can search and pop up the videos, and you can X out, and you'll go back to just where you are. Favorites are all the videos you favorited. Subscriptions. Up here on the left, you can click each individual user or just have them all. My videos is any videos you've uploaded and so on. When watching a video, uh, you just, you could browse or search. You click it and it will appear full screen. And you can pinch out and it will go into this where you could see the description info and links. And then here's related videos, more from the same author. You can subscribe to this author. It's also going to destroy all the fish. And oh here's comments. Well, you can because comment. On my map of and that's how that goes. Oh, and view the comments. Oh, no, Here you can add, share, rate, and flag. Here you can pause and skim through. As well as tap this to get bigger. Or you can pinch out. And here is to go with the the border you could double tap to go in double tap to go out click this to go in and that to go out here's iBooks for the iPad you open up to it and it brings you to the last spot you were in the book you can flip through flip backwards flip forwards and there's a cool animation you can go like this page to page the bottom you could skim, take the little skimmer, and it'll show you where you're going to different spots. This is a very quick application. Up here you can change the brightness. You can make the text larger as well as change the fonts. You can search the book for words up here. and it will search for where those words are found. Over here you have the library, which takes you to your library of books. Uh, whoops. Which takes you to your library of books. It comes free with Winnie the Pooh. You just have to, I'm pretty sure you just download it. Over here you can change how you view them in your library. You can use this to search or you can use the nice bookshelf. Uh, support for PDFs is coming to iBooks soon. And here's the store. This is the third store now on the iDevices. There's iTunes Store, App Store, and now the iBook Store. You could search. You could browse by featured or release date. Up here, you could search. You can go back to your library and click different categories. Over here, you have the New York Times bestsellers. Featured, 
top charts and purchases tells you everything and you could just you could click here to buy and you just have to enter your iTunes password books download very quickly and that's the iBooks application for the iPad here is calendar on the iPad up here you could click your different calendars you could go by day which brings up this nice address book you could go by week the week the month and list your events and it's very nice book like planner you can skim through at the bottom and you can search for appointments and such there is now a set of iWork applications for the, uh, for the iPad I have pages and I'm pretty sure I have keynote let me check also here's spotlight search you can search for your apps you can search pretty much everything in your library but I just have pages there are ten dollars each for pages keynote and numbers and you can click it up here you have new document you can choose a template here you could well there's many things you could do I'll do a separate review of this app for the iPad here's the iPad I have it's I have the Wi-Fi iPad with 32 gigabytes here is the prices for these iPads in my opinion the iPad is a great device it works wonderfully has great speed and there's many many apps to take advantage of this device Apple has perfected it could have used a camera um, videos on it look just amazing photos are great there is great ways to view videos on YouTube and such and everything just works wonderfully they have the iTunes store they have the Apple App Store and they have the iBook store to get all your books the e-reader works great it, everything looks really good the animations are great when you turn the pages maps is a great way to just experience maps full size and you can just find your direction where you have to go and there's many applications to use such as notes, calendars, and contacts to organize all your info that you need to organize. Thank you.